Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University and Spider-Man Life Story. This is the 80s, part three, issue number three. It's only on issue three. We've gotten so much in the previous two issues that I look at this like, isn't this part five or something? Like, holy crap. Th these comic books, these Life Story Spider-Man comic books are packed with information and literally life story. There was no Captain America in this, all right, which really sad. That'll come back, but for now... This was something entirely different. Spider-Man dealing with getting old and a really great storyline is uh, modified. And actually two really great. Oh, no, a bunch of... Let's get into this book. <laughs> All right. We got writer Chip Zardosky, penciler Mark Bagley, inker John Dell, color artist Frank Diarmada, letters VCs Travis Lanham, uh, Spider-Man Life Story Chapter 3, Our Secret Wars. Uh, the cover is by Chip Zardosky. Variant covers by Aiko. Um, dude. Mm. Oh, and Spider-Man was created by Stan Lee with Steve Ditko. Dude, this was so good. Like, y y you get to see the whole uh, Spider-Man with the, um, what is it, great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, well, there's a reason why a lot of people didn't draw him with, you know, or, or write him or draw him with a family. You know, like that he was actually taking care of, like with kids and all that stuff. Because here it is. Spider-Man's with this, you know, he's he's got kids in this one. And mm, he he's not there. He's an absentee father, you know, and they're always where it's like, imagine, you know how Mary Jane always was before, right? Mary Jane was just this, this girl who loved Peter Parker to death and she accepted that he was Spider-Man, but she dealt with a lot of worry every time he went out there that maybe something would happen. Spider-Man's not bulletproof after all. He's really not bulletproof in this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's dealing with the fact now that he's Spider-Man and she's got kids and Aunt May, like people are actually aging in this comic book. In this series, people actually age. So what happens? Um, Spidey's getting too old. He needs something to help him out. Meanwhile, he's in the Secret Wars. Hmm, Secret Wars. Spider-Man needs a new costume. Yeah. Spider-Man also just a little bit becomes Venom in this one. This was crazy. We're going to blend uh, Secret Wars with Craven's Last Hunt with the Venom saga. And, oh my god. <laughs> I Like, I, I was sitting down the entire time I read this comic book. And after I was finished reading the comic book, I was like, I need to sit down. <laughs> this was great. This was crazy. What's the best part about the comic book? Um, oh, also... Chip Sardowski's love for the Fantastic Four shines through in this one also because we have the uh, the Red Ghost in here with his own version of, uh, um, what do you call it, his origin story. What's my favorite part of this entire comic book? Chip Sardowski killed the people who made this comic book. Somehow VC's Clayton Cowles got out of this alive. Um, but then again, there is another grave back there that's, uh, uh, what do you call it, it's... it's it's got something on it, but we can't quite see what it says. I'm imagining it must be Clayton Cowles. Anyway, um, this was superb. This was such a great comic book, and I don't think I need to do anything. I could literally just be like, hey, guys, this comic book's out. Comic Book University, class dismissed, right? Because it's that good. You're going to buy it. So when you buy it, comments below how much you loved it. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.